Morning, everybody. Jenny with Bet in the Farm. Let's go meet our new girls and take care of some scaly leg mites. <laughs> Um, I've never treated um, scaly mites before, so I've done a little bit of research and I'm going to kind of combine a little bit of them and I wanted to show you all how I'm going to do it. And um, I'm supposed to do about every other day till hopefully the scales on the legs are nice and shiny. So let's get to it. I'm going to catch the first one and we'll see how this goes. I know. So this is one of the new girls. Yes, I know. I don't want you being upset. No. It's all right, baby. Get my hair out of the way. All right. So now her legs actually are not that. Uh, uh, uh. It's all right. It's all right. Shh. Her legs are actually not that bad. But they still have scales. See that? I mean, the top parts are kind of nice and shiny, but the bottom parts are not. And that's from being in mud and a bunch of damp um, conditions. So I'm going to first go, go find my toothbrush. I got some white vinegar, just plain white vinegar. And I'm gonna take a toothbrush, put it down in that vinegar. And I'm gonna kind of scrub the scales Try to loosen them up a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can get it better on the leg. I don't know, can you see that? Can I loosen up some of those scales? See, it's all right, sweetheart. It's okay. I don't want to do it too hard. I'm trying to do it gentle. Someone's pulling her over. Oh, I know, sweetie. I know, baby girl. It's all right. It's all right. Luckily, she's one of the smaller ones, so get my uh, goal with her, and then we'll go the other ones. I'm um, right now. I'm just getting where it's the most scaly on her. So now um, I bought this spray. I got it at TSC. Right here. It's called a poultry, all natural um, poultry protector. It's non toxic. So um, I'm going to spray this on them and then I'm going to give her legs um, a good coat with a mixture of coconut oil, olive oil, um, orange essential oils, and cayenne pepper. That'll help to smother and kill the mites. This is what the mixture looks like. I know. We're almost done, sweetheart. Almost done, okay? Yes, I'm just going to get this nice and coat them up really good. Yes. See, this will make you feel so much better. Yes, it will. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but I promise. I don't know how long it's going to take. Some of them are a lot worse than others. Um, we picked them up late last night. So unfortunately, it was so dark, I wasn't able to get a good look at their feet. But another way I kind of looked at it is, even if they were pretty bad, which I know one of them is, um, we're bringing them here and able to take care of them and try to get them all better and healthy. So I'd rather us have them and treat them than have them just living where they were. So, okay, well, this one's done. You did so good. Yes, you did. Okay, number two, she is a big girl. <laughs> but she's so pretty. Look at her, she looks like an eagle. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Yes, it's okay, honey. Now, her legs are really bad. Can you see that? Yeah, hers are really bad. They're not hardly shiny at all. So I have to do her a good treatment. That vinegar and the toothbrush, it does help break up the scales.
to get you all looking better. Yeah, see, it's not so bad. You're getting a pedicure. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're so soft. Yes. You're so soft. Yeah. All right. Here we go. You go ahead. All right, two down, two to go. This one is so beautiful. Look at those speckles, feathers. Oh, she's just so pretty. Yes. See? All right. I'm not the eye. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Yes. It's all, oh, no. It's all right. Yes, it's all right. I'm See, she looks like she's even got a cut on one of her toes. They know I'm helping them. Yes. Yeah, um, a couple was, are moving the end of next month. So they had, I think, 12 hens and one rooster. And they were wanting to get rid of them. Well, and then they're here they're already laying. And uh, we were going to get some more this spring. But of course, they wouldn't be laying until uh, until probably no uh, September. So, you know, we're helping these people out by taking them, and helps us out by getting laying hens. So it's a win-win, and they're beautiful girls. Yes, you are. You're beautiful girls. Yes. So I don't know how many more treatments I'm going to have to do. Like, I mean, this is the first one, of course. So, uh, but I need to do it every other day until the scales start looking nice and shiny again. So they're, I'm going to keep them in quarantine. I would keep them in quarantine anyway. But uh, I'm going to keep them in there just a little bit longer since they have this. So right. Got one left, and she's a doozy. Her legs are the worst. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. See, look at hers. Look how bad hers is. Can you see that? Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. Yes. It's all right, honey. Yes, it's okay. They probably don't know what the heck I am. We got them. We went and got them late last night. So they'd be sleeping. Well, they weren't sleeping, but you know what I mean. Pretty dormant. All right, baby. You are all done. Okay? Yes, it's all right. It's okay. You are all done. Can I give you a it's all right. See? Look. I'm not going to hurt you. No. I'm not going to hurt you at all. Yeah. Poor girl. Yes. All right. Okay, so that's going to that's the first treatment. Um I'll bring you guys back in another day or so when I do another treatment. But I wanted to let you know the uh, what I was doing for the first time around. Um, I've never had to treat scaly mite before, scaly leg mites. So this was definitely a first for me. Uh, that was the only reason I was kind of leery about getting them. 
But like I said, I figured I'd rather us have them that we can um, take care of them, try to get them healthy again versus someone else just taking them and maybe they're killing them or just letting them go because it can cripple them and can eventually kill them if it's not treated. So I'm glad that we we're able to get them and treat them and try to make them healthy again. I know they may not necessarily think that right now, but <laughs> it's better for them. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do so. Um, you can find us under Bet in the Farm on Facebook. And leave a comment. If you have any other suggestions, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.